Hello everybody, it's -a me, a friendly porcupine, and it has been a long ass time since I did some new knockoff news. And yeah, believe it or not, I thought the knockoffs were done, but in 2024 they got some new sets, so let's check them out. Don't worry, I posted the link in the description below to where you can get them. If you've been on Amazon and searching for Mega Bloks Call of Duty knockoffs, you'll find a uh, Yebo. Yebobo. <laughs> I was checking out Amazon and look what I found. Yay Bobo is one of these stores that actually sells a lot of these X Block type of figures, and I believe this set is actually by the X Block brand. So they have some new ones. For example, you get all of these interesting, I guess, police unit squats. Uh, let's see what they say over here. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, they call them PTU. Police Trooper Universe? I don't know. But anyways, of course, we've already seen the UN troops, the, de the Desert Troopers, and we do have some new ones like Wolf Marines, Urban Security Frontier Troops, Falcony Special Forces. Yeah, just throw in whatever military jumbo mumble schmumbo and call it a knockoff set. No one really cares too much, as long as they look cool. However, one of the downsides about these figures, they all have the annoying boot trick. If we look here, ah, what a bummer. Look at them, they all have the annoying boot trick. But, at least they do provide two different boot molds, the combat boots and the more armor type of boots. So yeah, they have those and those, I'm kind of glad they use both of them. I just wish if you were going to replace the bottom part of your foot, you actually painted the boot part black. Because you see with this annoying boot trick, you get part of the pants being black and it doesn't feel nice and uniform like the official Mega Bloks. Ah, uh, what's going on with the official Mega Bloks? Call of Duty? Yeah, that line is basically dead. The Call of Duty line is kaput. They're not making any more. They have lost the license. Mega Constructs has lost the license. Oh well, I guess that's why we have knockoffs to uh, continue the fun. And yeah, knockoffs are still making new sets. So I really thought the knockoffs were done, but nope, here they are. Back at it again, making new sets. This one's not bad. I also like that they gave some humans actually skin color and then some ones the actual gloves. I also appreciate that at least for one of the figures they actually gave them the sleeveless shirt mold so at least they're trying with some kind of figure diversity. Even though they are all the same at least the knockoffs here tried a little bit instead of them all having glove mold they at least try to switch it up rather than just replacing the head and giving you the same exact 12 bodies. So yeah I at least appreciate that you get 12 pieces this time so that's enough. Oh, and Mr. Knockoff figure, you better not fucking use that Claymore's binoculars. Don't do it! <laughs> and of course, for some of the newer ones, at least they're newer to me, you might have seen these a while ago. I just haven't been keeping all of it because I've been focusing on the Plunged Into The Deep franchise. I even got a whole t-shirt for it if you're wondering. But yeah, this right here, you also get 12 pieces here. And once again, I really like how they switched up the boots. They gave some of the really nice combat boots and some of them the actual more heavily military armor type of boots. The only problem I have with this, I don't know if they have fixed them, but the boots, the combat boots, they have okay, you know, the grip suction to the stud. But the other boot mold I remember had problems where it wouldn't fully attach properly to the stud. I hope they have fixed that problem. I don't know. It's 2024, so I guess we can check it out and see if they actually did. Also, I really like that none of these figures have the annoying underwear trick. Yeah, where they basically decide to take the underwear, the button winner port, that mold right there. They specifically like to change different colors. I have no idea why the knockoffs do this. Like, Do they think it's awesome to have diapers, black diapers or white diapers over the figures? I don't get it. That's what I'm talking about. It's annoying. It doesn't make sense. <sighs> silly knockoffs. Your eyeballs. Ah, silly knockoffs. They don't actually look like that. It's a masterpiece. And then you have these newer ones. Once again, 12 figures. Oh, look at that! Knockoffs are not completely stupid! They actually grabbed the correct binocular mold. Wow! And they also gave you the coat. I actually appreciate that. They at least tried to make the figures somewhat different. So, good job on that, Xbox. So glad that that's not a claymore mold. Yeah, back in the day, knockoffs used to use claymores as binoculars. And I'm like, stupid folks. Oh, and look at that. They've also decided to give you a new set of these. Oh my. 
I really hope the knockoffs start introducing a lot of different type of. No, 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 figure. You better not use those claymores binoculars. I thought we gone over this. It seems like after all of the videos I've done about knockoffs using claymores as binoculars, I think they understood. Cause here the figure is actually using the correct mold, versus here, um, I guess they're trying to use it as a claymore. So, yay! Let's just hope they don't fuck it up again. But yeah, look at them. Ooh! And look at what they did here. They tried to make them look more jungly. Ooh! Also, the eyes, they do not look that super detailed. That guy right there looks like he's suspicious of me. Let's go ahead and see what they've done here. I'm at least glad they used the World War II British hat molds over there. And they also combined the Captain Price hat mold as well. Also, if you notice right here, it looks like they painted the hat mold, the little brown part around the thing. A hat. So, if they actually done that, that would be good. I'm glad that they gave you two different hat molds for these figures. You see, they also have the hat mold from Captain Price. And it has a little brown paint around the whole entire head. So that's good. And of course they also gave you the British World War II helmets as well. So that's a good combination. And of course, some diversity points over here. Yay! Oh, oh, and the most important part. They actually use binoculars instead of claymores for binoculars. Bravo, Nokov, bravo. Well, you know what? I'm actually curious. Let's go ahead and read some of these reviews. I like the pro. Just didn't like having to use super glue the soldiers. The fuck? Bruh! What do you mean super glue? You don't need to super glue anything. Have they not watched my reviews? I don't know. Very cheap. The toys are smaller than the pictures being advertised. Um, not really so And, and have to assemble the toys. Well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> That's to be expected. You do have to assemble them. Okay. These figures are similar to Mega Bloks constructs and are compatible with Major like Lego. They look great, fun to assemble, easy to pose. So some people don't mind it. I guess some other people are expecting the figures to be fully built. I don't know. Not colored as shown, easy to build. Okay, let's see. So figures, I've received three very figures. They're fairly detailed with limbs and joints that are bendable. What really sets these figures apart is that they have pieces of tactical gears. Ah, okay, okay, of course, of course. That can attach to their leg and harness and vest. Ah, of course, of course. They come in a variety of designs. They are more detailed than I expected. They are similar to design in G.I. Joe figures. Hey, Mega, maybe you guys should take that franchise. Well, my comrades, I hope you have appreciated me bringing the knockoff news to you. If you appreciate these kind of videos, let me know and I will continue to make them. If not, I'll just focus on Plunged Into The Deep, the franchise, and we continue with that. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys want to see out of this channel? Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and take care.